Hi, and welcome to this bonus workout designed to be done anytime, anywhere, no equipment needed. This will help you stay consistent with your program. You can do it wherever you happen to be. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to draw our navel into our spine, and then we're going to step forward and balance, and then step back. So step forward, balance, and step back. We're going to stay on one leg this time, the same leg, rather than alternating. We're gonna reach up and then just step back. So this is waking up the body, getting those joints and those muscles moving, but it's nice and gentle. It shouldn't tax your body too much, although it is a really great challenge to your balance and also requires some engagement of your core. So let's go ahead and we'll switch to the opposite side, step up and step back. Here we go, step up, reach high and step back. The leg does not have to go super high, just to a nice comfortable position because again, this is a warm up preparing us for more work to come later. And we want to raise that heart rate nice and gradually. And this is a total body exercise, which helps us do that. Okay, and great job there. We're going to move right into a side step to kick, side step to kick. So going from that forward and backward movement, we're moving into this lateral movement that's going to open up the sides of the hip complex. So that other one is opening the fronts of the hips. This is really helping to open that side to side movement in the hips. So good job on this. Stay with me. Remember to keep your core nice and engaged. We're not holding our breath or sucking in. We are engaging those deep core muscles. I say that all the time, but it's just really important to not hold the breath really any time, except unless you're underwater maybe. But while we're working out, we definitely want plenty of oxygen. Same thing when you ride your horse. A lot of times we get tense, we start holding our breath. So this is a great way to practice breathing even while you're doing intense activity. We're going to go right into a standing lunge. Some of us can't do intense activity without breathing. Most of us can't. We're going to drop that back knee down toward the ground and then come back up. Make sure that your knees and toes are aligned. You want your back nice and neutral. You want that core engaged to help you with your balance. And you want to do this in a nice controlled way. If you're really strong and can go all the way to the ground with your knee, great for you, go for it. If you need to modify this and not go as deep so you can keep it controlled, absolutely modify so that you can do it with good form and then work up to being able to do a deeper bend as you go. So we've swapped legs here. Same exact exercise on the opposite leg. You're doing great, stay with me. This is really challenging. It's great for the lower body, but we're also still working our core. Good job on this. It's also demanding a lot of oxygen in those larger muscles of the body. So your heart rate should be coming up quite nicely. So we're going to go right into a plank position here. And we'll be in this plank position, nice and stable. And then if you can hold this in a nice stable position without dropping or sagging, hold it here and then lift one leg, come back to center, lift the opposite back leg back to center and then bend the elbows. Lift one leg, lift the opposite leg and then bend the elbows. Lift one leg, lift the opposite leg, bend the elbows. And last one, lift one leg, opposite leg, and bend those elbows. Good job. We can stay right here on the mat because we're going to go into a rolling crunch. So we're going to just roll back down with the arms reaching toward the sky and then roll up. Try not to collapse through your chest as you roll up. We still want to keep those shoulders nice and open. 
because we pretty much never want to collapse through the chest while we're riding. And when we work out, we want to try to practice things that will translate directly to riding. So even in this rolling crunch, I want you to keep your chest as open as you can and really, really let that work be in your abs, not in your neck. And last one here. Okay, now for everybody's favorite workout. Not exact exercise. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I like this one. Jumping jacks. Now let's go ahead and do this. I know a lot of people think, oh, this is like gym class, I don't like this. But the great thing about these is they're just so easy to do. You don't need any equipment. They get your heart rate up and they wake up the whole body. So I love them just for that reason. Excellent cardiovascular fitness exercise and you don't even need a rope like a jump rope. You can just do this right here. And again, this is another one of those exercises where we use side to side motion. We're working on lateral movement rather than front to back movement. And so they really do have a benefit of balancing out the body a little bit more than if we were just jogging or something like that. Okay, great job. We're going to go right into, speaking of cardiovascular fitness, step forward, twist left, twist right, come back to center. Step forward, twist left, twist right, back to center. For some of you, you may need to just stick with the lunge and that's fine. You'll work up to being able to twist. Let's go ahead and switch legs, step forward. But if you can add that twist in, it's really going to challenge your body and be a really great way to work your legs, your core, and challenge your balance as well. So good job on this. Stay with me. We just got one more on this leg. And there you go, good job. Okay, going right into a workout, an exercise for the back of the legs. If we were in a gym, we might have some dumbbells or a barbell here, but you can still get a really good workout just with your hands. So what we're gonna do is push our hips back away, keep that back nice and neutral so it shouldn't be hunched, shouldn't be excessively arched, just nice and neutral. And then we're going to push the hips back up underneath the shoulders and then press away, push those hips back up underneath the shoulders, press away, back up underneath the shoulders. Control it on the way down. To do that, you're going to need to engage your abs. So this is actually not only for the backs of the legs, I'm almost losing my balance there, but also for your abs. When I almost lost my balance there, the way I regained it was to engage my abs and bring myself back up into that upright position. Also a very handy maneuver to do when we're riding and we get off balance on our horse. Not necessarily the full thing, but that ability to rewrite your balance and get yourself back in a neutral upright position. It's very, very helpful. So let's go ahead and we're going to come into a bridge. So here, the most important thing is getting your hips up nice and strong. So we're going to stay here and just notice that engagement. It may help you to touch your hips or your thighs. You can feel yourself here, whether you're dropping or not. And we're just going to hold it here and feel that nice work. Even as we're in this static position, we're still doing a good bit of work. This is also great for the backs of the legs, the glutes, and that lower back. And now we're going to come down one vertebrae at a time. Go ahead and extend your legs out in front of you. You can fold forward, reach for your feet. You're done with all the hard stuff. Yay, you did a great job. Good for you. We can go ahead and come into a cobbler's pose. I am extremely tight, so I hope your knees are closer to the ground than mine. 
but this is something I do all the time because I need to open my hips. So this is a really great way to do that. Even when my mat flies up over my knees, let's go ahead and we're going to extend one leg. This will also work on those muscles that are tight through the hips. If you can only grab your knee, go for it. Do what you can as always. Don't worry about whether you are not where I am. You may be a lot more advanced than I am. Do what you can and build upon it. So good job here. Again, as always, I wish I could keep those for 30 seconds each. If you can go back and do them later, please do. Let's go ahead and breathe in deep and exhale. And one more time, big breath. You did great. Good job. You're sticking with your program. Congratulations. You did it.